Hello, my friend. This is Pastor Anton Bronson of World Harvest Centered Ministries, where our focus is centered on the harvest of the world. And where we can't go by air, we go by prayer. You hear a lot of good messages, but is there a word from the Lord? I have good news for you, my friend. There is a word from the Lord. So stay tuned. Pay close attention as we prepare now to go into the word. What was that song we were just singing? Somebody give me the word. Give me the main verse of that song we were just singing. In the Bible. King of glory, feel this place. And what else? Go ahead. Just want to what? Just want to be with who? Just want to be with him. Amen. Well, you, well, you really, truly, that really, truly is your desire. I just want to be with him. Man, I'm telling you, man, things are beginning to happen more. Uh, let me say my little word, quicker. <laughs> Amen. In your life that you've been waiting years for some time. Because I, I, I just want to be with you, Lord. I, think, I know I need to be here, but, Lord, I'm satisfied just being with you. You ain't even focus, focusing on your uh, afflictions anymore. You're not focusing on pain. You're not focusing on this. You're not focusing on that. You, all I want to do is just be with you. Amen. And lo and behold, you'll find out, man, look at here. It's already done. I was up this uh, Saturday morning. I, like, I got a new routine on Saturday morning now. I get up and I go in my little place where recliners are at, make my little coffee, get my Bible. I just have a quiet time with the Lord. But, man, my pain, I had pain, like sinus pains and stuff like that. Sometimes my head will just in one spot where it will just pick a spot <laughs> and it just stay there. It would be tender to touch. And I would just, you know what I was just doing? So I'm talking about what I, I experienced and I know. All I did which is for, I ain't even asking to heal me. I just focus on the Lord, just worship the Lord. And sometimes, somehow, somehow, him and our spirits, we, we did some kind of thing I can't explain. Basically, he know I, my head was hurting or whatever. And I just begin to just focus and worship and just meditate and sit there. And you know what? Pain was from the day before. It happened so much, I don't even tell her no more. She know about my sinus pain. That pain was, it was hurting from Friday night. It was kind of, you understand? But you know what? Pain gone. It ain't even here now. In, but all I was, all I was just focusing on is just him, just spending time with him, loving him for real. Now, I'm not in his presence because I want something. Right now, I'm to the point, if I want something from God, all I want from God is to do exactly what he's telling me to do. I just want to please him in the things he's called me to. I'm not going before God for these natural things. Amen. I'm past that. Amen. But now my, I'm in God's prayer, like, Lord, you know, just seeking him even for uh, Liberia, just ways. And we, uh, like, I was just uh, fleecing my children and my wife and, you know, just trying to get some little counsel on some decisions. I mean, and because I had been praying, you know, been praying about this really been heavy on me. And lo and behold, he answered my prayer through my other son, my, old, my eldest son. And I knew it because the witness, like, man, that's, that's right. And I was like, I'm so happy because the Lord... I'm still happy that the Lord answered my prayer. And I, you understand what I'm saying? See, y'all, 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 I'm just saying, just say, Sister Tim, you ask the Lord to, uh, you just ask the Lord to do something simple for you, like, uh, uh, I don't know, just, just use your own imagination. It was simple, though. Just say you lost a pen, a little, you know, women don't really wear the pens like they used to back in the day. You know, a little pen, little brooches. You don't even see those no more. Amen. When you just wear pins and brooch. Just say you lost your little brooch. You sitting in church now. You just sit here and say, oh, Lord, I, please help me find that brooch. My grandmama gave me that thing. And you just went on worshiping the Lord or whatever. And you went right back to the spot you already looked at. And there was the brooch. Amen. You know what? Not talking about you, but most people won't even acknowledge that as answered prayer. That's too small. They were like, oh, boom, follow my approach. They ain't even take time. Lord, I thank you, Lord. You, it just meant so much to me because I'm like, Lord, Lord, you, I know he hear me, but it's still like, Lord, you really hear me. Amen. That was really bothering me, this situation in Liberia that I need to be, that was really bothering me. And he get, that blows my mind. I'm like, Lord, you really heard me. But I know, he, you understand what I'm saying. But some of us, I could just think, I, I know, I'm talking about people that's in here right now. I know some of y'all don't got answers to prayer, and you ain't even came back and told a testimony. Think about it. It could have been a small thing this week. 
you know, but the Lord answered prayer. But it's so it's kind of, it's insignificant, I guess, to you that nobody else don't need to hear about it. See, I ain't have to tell y'all about, you know, but man, that's a testimony that can encourage somebody. God done answered so many of your prayers already. But you so focused on the big thing. And why would he give you the big thing and you're not even thankful for the little things? Think about yourself. That's why I repent, Lord, forgive us. Well, a lot of times you saying that stuff, I be really be doing that for y'all to catch on. You know, because I I'm 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 trying, I'm thinking I'm getting past unselfishness. You can't afford you can't even be selfish being a pastor, amen. I can't even hardly pray for myself for praying for you. You understand what I'm saying? It's hard for me to be selfish to really do this successfully. But I'm like, Lord, forgive us. Forgive me or forgive us for just selfishness, being selfish. You could be selfish with God himself. You could come into the house of God selfish. If you're a selfish person, that praise, all that, that was too long for you. Okay. You pray, you're doing the motion, but in your head, like, you, t- you already tapped out. You know why? Because you're selfish. So, so, Lord, forgive me for being selfish. That means you're a person, you come into the house of the Lord for what he could do for you. But when you come in here, you praise and give him thanksgiving, you're doing something for him. You even find out that that's what the type of God calls. That's how you feed God. He said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't even tell you. Hmm? But he said, offer unto me what? The sacrifices of praise. Hmm? How many relationships we got is really all about him for real? You understand? How many people came to just come into God for God? You go in prayer for him and to please him. Hmm? Think about that. Why are we so quiet in the realm of the spirit? I hope you, 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 when you hear this today, it'll cause you. See, this is what you hear a word like this for, so you would change your ways. Not just hear it. Oh, man, that was better. <laughs> and you just go back into the same thing. I mean, that's crazy. Amen. God wants you to change. He loves you. He's a jealous God. And when you think about even analyzing what I'm saying right now, you'll see why some prayers are not answered. Am I making any sense? I don't care what's the nature of the prayer. You can still see why some prayers are not answered. They ain't even the devil that's hindering them. God is trying to get you in a place where you condition your heart. Hmm? I'm not going to keep feeding you, feeding you everything you want, and you still don't know me the way you're supposed to know me. Hmm? This life is all about getting to know Jesus. We got our families, we got our mothers, we got our fathers, but really, and that it's all about getting to know Jesus Christ. Amen. But like I always say, I'm going to say it, For a long time, hopefully, amen, I'm sorry that church has been made to be what it has been made to be. Amen. And as a pastor, I can take up for the people. As a leader myself, it was the leader's fault. You understand? Because y'all only going to catch hold to or, you understand, or pattern yourself after what the leader teaches you or what the leader preaches about, what the leader puts your focus on. Amen? So if you understand that, what is God through me trying to get your focus on? What really matters? Hmm? My God to you is just like Apostle Paul, that the eyes you understand are being like for real, because God is really opening up my eyes and understanding like never ever before what this life is truly all about. Took me over 27 years. To see what this thing is really all about. I was caught up in all the same. I was saved but caught up in some of the, all the same things everybody else caught up in. That my season. I don't believe in God for a season. But it's a season of my destiny in him. Doing the work for him. But you know how we used to be. Our, our season was us being blessed with natural things. 
My season was me getting that car I always wanted. My season was me getting the house I always wanted. My season was getting that raise on the job. I was there too. Amen. I raised my hand first. Raise your hand if that was you. God don't want that. That can't be you no more. We're too far in the game right now. Amen. Too far in the game. In too deep. You see what's happening around the world? Y'all forget about the those the signs that Jesus told us? To let us know that what the time that we are in. How many of y'all read Matthew chapter 24? Hmm? First lady trying to take up for y'all say, I'm sure they have. Raise your hand if you read it. I ain't saying you read it yesterday. <laughs> hey Amen. You could have read it five years ago. How have you ever, you know, if you read it before? Amen. Hey, hey All right. But you see these things are happening. You understand what I'm saying? They've been happening, but they're in, it's, 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 it's uh, more specific now to Scripture. I mean, you can go now. I'm not that type of person. Uh, I don't even cover that anointing, but some men of God, they have that anointing. They can go right to the, the prophecy in the Bible, and they can pinpoint it to the time that's going on. But I, I, I got enough in me to know, hey, it's, some prophecies are being fulfilled now, like almost word for word uh, in, in different books of the Bible now. I won't, try, I won't dare try to repeat what I, what I know is true. I went back and uh, researched myself that men of God are saying right now, it is true. But because I, I don't want to, you know, butcher it up. But we're living in the last of the last, last days for real. Even what's happening over there in Israel right now, you could, you can go in Scripture. I might try to do it Friday when I go back and get the Scripture. You can go in Scripture right now, and you can see what's happening over there in Israel. It was a man of God two years ago. When uh, Was that two years ago now that Russia invaded Ukraine? Around two years, almost two years ago. Two years ago, Russia invaded Ukraine. A preacher a, a prophesied, he said, uh, we're in a very serious time now because this is going to open up the door for uh, Iran to raise up people like Hamas, you know, to do what the words he used to go in and uh, attack Israel. He said that two years ago. What's happened? Amen. <laughs> you see, those? now you can't, now somebody say, that's, that's a, I ain't saying he's a prophet, but that's a prophet. That's a real prophecy. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It happened just like he said. But, but this, somebody say it's serious. And like I said, it's a shame. We say this to our shame as a body of Christ. Most, most people in the, body, in, the, in the body of Christ, in church, they ain't studying no Israel. And we learned uh, on last, was Wednesday night just passed? Wednesday night just passed, the importance of it. We won't try to get into all that. That's why I say come on Wednesday night. But most people ain't even studying Israel, Deacon Johnson. How many of y'all prayed for the peace of Jerusalem this week? Don't raise your hand if you didn't do it. If you go to this ministry, we prayed for Jerusalem uh, Friday night. So if you go to this ministry, raise your hand. We prayed for Jerusalem this week. Friday is still connected to this week a little bit, right? I know they say Sunday is the first day of the week. But we, but we I count like it's still the same thing until I go to work Monday morning. <laughs> uh, you know, to, you know, but I go Tuesday. But you understand what I'm saying. So raise your hand if you paid for the peace. The man just prayed for the peace of Jerusalem this morning. I like the hesitancy, though. Y'all trying not to lie in church no more. Amen. Y'all just pray. And y'all too pray for the peace of the rules. Amen. Look at that. They came up and pray. So y'all ready to get into the scripture now? That was just my opening. You ready? Trust that you are blessed by the word that you just heard. If so, we would like for you to come and visit us on Sundays at 10 a.m. and also for our Bible studies Wednesday and Friday nights from 7 to 8.30 p.m. right here in the beautiful city of Jacksonville, Florida, 1351 Airport Road. Again, that's 1351 Airport Road. The phone number is Erico 904 713 3609. Again, that's Erico 904 713 3609. You can also check us out on the web at worldharvestcm.org. Again, that's worldharvestcm.org. But until next time, be blessed of God.